Good morning, folks. Today we dive deeper into the birth of Micronova science, we find more insects in need of the magnetic field, and we learn the most important underlying principle of why modern climate change fear-mongering is absurd. Starting with the sun, we've been seeing a steady rise in solar flaring, but that clapped off quickly yesterday as the sunspots on the north came into full view. Coronal hole streams should be arriving tonight, along with minor solar wind shockwaves from the previous day's flares. But more than those, our eyes are watching the current eruption threats like this incoming plasma filament on the south. And then on the north, there are those sunspots we're monitoring. Several have appeared this week. And even before the expected peak of activity in August, we will be monitoring these umbra just in case. After the July 4th show, which pointed to the solar system shift in Micronova Science, I got an email from a professor I've thrice debunked on this channel and who has no love for the observers. He was asking me if this science was legit. Why was there only one paper on it? Well, despite the fact that I gave the link to the article, which itself linked both the paper I showed and the second paper on the topic, there's more than just those two. In fact, the identification of Micronova and even Nanonova are on the books more than once, several times. The first great example I found was in 2018, and this one actually came with a picture of the little Micronova. No giant nebula, no huge feature left on the sky, just that system's version of the solar flash. Thanks for playing, Professor. On to fruit flies. Turns out they need the magnetic field as well. This is another example that falls outside the realm of migration, by the way because fruit flies don't migrate, likely more important to foraging and breeding ground identification in this case. Folks, Dr. Roy Spencer has the official data for June's monthly temperature anomaly, as he always does before the government releases it. Another month of a puny fraction of a degree above average, and with a distinct tropical cooldown that hasn't been seen in years. And by the way, this fraction of a degree of warming over the last 150 to 200 years is consistently billed to us as terrifying stuff on the news. But it turns out, it's not even close to extreme. For those with our latest book, refer to Part 2B and find where we begin discussing the Dansgaard Oeschger events, which are 3, 5, up to 8 degree spikes in temperature that occur in as little as 40 years, which makes our fraction of a degree of warming in over a century seem not so scary. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now at 6 a.m. in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone